case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1978, the Nebraska Supreme Court heard a unique case that pitted notions of self-defense against actions taken in response to perceived threats. The case, State v. Schroeder, examined the question of whether the harm a defendant sought to prevent was more significant than the harm caused by their actions and whether they were in immediate danger of injury. The case centered around Mark Schroeder, a man who found himself in deep waters over a prison debt. A convict facing his prison sentence, Schroeder owed $3,000 in gambling debt to Gary Riggs. In a turn of events, Riggs threatened to sell Schroeder's outstanding debt to another prisoner and, by consequence, make him a punk. In an act born out of this fear, Schroeder resorted to drastic measures. He stabbed Riggs in the back with a table knife and viciously struck him in the face with a metal ashtray. Schroeder's Defense, the Justification or Choice of Evils He argued that his actions, however severe, were intended to prevent a greater harm that hung over his head. In Schroeder's perspective, the trial court's omission of this defense was an error. This omission from their charge to the jury became his central point of appeal. Initially, the lower court handed down a prison sentence of two, three years to Schroeder for assault with intent to inflict substantial bodily injury. However, Schroeder's appeal transformed his fate. Although the court upheld the conviction, it acknowledged Schroeder's extenuating circumstances, acknowledging to an extent his self-defense argument. The court, therefore, mitigated his sentence to the statutory minimum of one year. This case, thus, tested the elasticity of the self-defense argument and how far it could shield an individual from their repercussions of their actions when ensnared by an array of threatening circumstances. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.